Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Hunter Reed, Sports Information Director here at Furman, and we're certainly pleased to have you back on campus for this special event and for Furman football and all the love and interest that you share for this program and this university. Before we get started, I've been asked to just remind everyone, if you'll please silence your cell phones before we go forward, before I call on Santa Claus to come up here and tell us if we've been naughty or nice. So at this time, I would like to call on our athletics director, Mr. Mike Buddy. Thank you, Hunter. I thought you were going to say I was Santa Claus. I was wondering where you were going there. So it's been an, uh, an incredible two weeks. Um, at times, it felt like it were, the two weeks went by in a flash. At other times, it felt like it's been a year. Um, thank you all for, for braving the, the cold temperatures, which is all relative because it's not nearly as cold as it is in, in Colorado right now. Um, but to, to take time to celebrate uh, a very important day. Um, these things don't happen easily. Uh, I, I certainly want to thank uh, the search committee that uh, literally was at my beck and call for, for the past 14 days. These things don't happen from 9 to 5, as we all know. So a lot of great behind the scenes work by the committee. Um, certainly want to thank President Davis for her support throughout this entire um, transition. I want to thank the staff, the current football staff, uh, that did a great job. They kept showing up for work, keeping our uh, recruits uh, appraised of what was going on, certainly making sure that our student athletes were, were preparing for final exams the way that they should. Um, and most importantly, I want to thank the student athletes. Um, they certainly were anxious. Uh, they certainly all understood. They trusted me and, and this committee to get the job done. And I'm proud to stand here before you today um, with the knowledge that the job was done. Uh, many of you may have read my comments. I, I posted them on, the, inter, uh, on the, the, the website about the profile of the type of man that we were looking for to lead our football program. Some of the things that I talked about were integrity, experience, true understanding of what makes Furman special, leadership, passion, all of those traits led me to Clay Hendricks. When I first met Clay, you may not even remember this, it was at my first ever FFPA organized meeting, which is the former Football Players Association. Um, actually, it was out, right outside the men's room, and eight people had already come up to me in the first 10 minutes and said, hey, you need to meet Coach Hendricks. He's here tonight. And Clay and I had a brief encounter, and I remember walking away thinking, that's amazing that the associate head coach at the Air Force Academy feels strongly enough about his former teammates and his alma mater to come all the way across the country to be at this hotel event uh, and play golf the next day. And, and that left a, a huge impression on me, not only about Clay, but about the brotherhood of the, of the Furman football family. Um, several of them said, Clay's a paladin. And, and I didn't fully grasp what that meant until recently when many of them said, you, you don't understand, to, to my generation of Furman football players, to call somebody a paladin is the utmost sign of respect. He said, and Clay's a paladin. Um, so we're thrilled that, that our search has ended here. The more I delved into the search, the more um, film that I watched on the Air Force Academy, if you're, if you're bored on December 30th, I recommend that you watch the Air Force Academy play. If you don't get excited about what Clay Hendricks brings, um, you need to watch that game. We're thrilled. Um, I love the way that they run the ball. I love the way that they play hard-nosed, aggressive, um, yet under control. They're intelligent players. I think all of those things will do well here at Furman. So today truly marks a new era for Furman football. I need everybody to do their part. Uh, it starts with coaching, and we've got a great one who I'm about to introduce. But we also need to sell season tickets, which are on sale right now at FurmanPaladins.com. Uh, we have also announced that we're launching a football championship fund. Uh, for coach to do all the things that he wants to do, we've got to make sure that we can fund it. So if you have a chance, if you're so um, driven to look up our athletics development office, uh, they're there every day of the year, including Christmas Day and New Year's, um, to have a conversation about how we can all get together 
to get Furman football back to where we, we all want it to be. Um, many of you in the room have already stepped up to support this championship fund, and I can't thank you enough. So we're here today to celebrate the future, and I can't say uh, any more plainly than the future is incredibly bright. And here today is Leanne Hendricks, who has been uh, kind enough to share her husband with Furman for many years, and it's about to all start up again. So welcome back, Clay Hendricks. Wow, um, I've heard that wow phrase a few times in the last few days. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit overwhelming to, to Leanne and I, you know, really the last couple of weeks especially. Uh, I mean, th in this room, uh, you know, just, uh, <laughs> I thought I might have a little hard time here today, but, uh, um, but, but it has, it's been overwhelming. You've reached out to us and uh, it's hard to believe we've been gone 10 years. Uh, we were driving back last night. We had an adventure, kind of a planes, trains, automobile day yesterday getting to here. And I, I fly, I'm, I'm over here a lot recruiting, but uh, yesterday was a little more unusual, and I think maybe it would help you, make you appreciate a little bit more. Uh, but as we were driving down 85 last night at about 2 a.m., uh, talking about it seems like, you know, just yesterday that we had left. And sometimes it seems like a long time ago, and sometimes it seems like it was yesterday, but... But absolutely thrilled to be here. Um, looking forward to the opportunity and the challenge. Um, and, you know, I asked Hunter, uh, Hunter, I said, how long do I have? He said, well, you take as long as you need. I said, well, I, I really don't know how long that'll last. I, when you think about this whole, this whole procedure, it's happened pretty quick. I've been trying to recruit for the Air Force Academy. Uh, also been trying to, to interview for this, for this opportunity. Uh, I've had three birthdays in my family in December. And, I've been on the road, I think, since we played Boise State the Friday after Thanksgiving. I was gone 11 straight days. So it's, it's been a busy, a busy few weeks. Uh, but it's all been worth it. And just to be able to stand here before you today, uh, it's, just, it's just a thrill for us. And a uh, couple of things, you know, as, as, I, as I go forward here, when I gathered my thoughts and my thoughts that I, that I thought were going to be later in the day, but they ended up being quite often, you know, at 35,000 feet yesterday as I was traveling. Um, but, uh, you know, first off, Hunter Reed, uh, you know, I, I may be wrong, Hunter. I think at 1985, I think probably when I was a senior, really known Hunter since that entire time. And, you know, this is year 31 for me in coaching, uh, all at the collegiate level. Uh, not a more professional, better person guy at his job than anywhere in America. And I've, I've been around a lot of it. I've seen a lot of press releases, uh, seen a lot of press conferences, uh, but just, I, I hope we all appreciate how lucky we are to have him here. And one of the things that thrills me about being here is having the opportunity to, to work with him. Uh, so I just gotta say thank you to that, uh, for that, Hunter. Um, and and just, just going here, uh, you know, just saying, like I said, the recent days have been humbling to our family and the number of people who've re reached out to both Leanne and myself. Uh, you know, we just thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we look forward to, uh, reconnecting with many of you and, and meeting many new people as well. Got a number of people I'd like to thank. Uh, first of all, President Davis. And uh, the, we had an opportunity to sit and visit. I don't know, maybe a week or two. I've lost track of my days. But um, I, I told her this. I actually heard her speak at another one of the FFPA luncheons a, a couple of years ago. I don't think she'd been here very long. And it was pretty obvious to me. You know, and you hear this from a coach. As a coach, I would say she gets it, you know, and she, and she, she understands uh, how much this football program and athletics in general mean to this university. And I think she got that from talking to a lot of you guys that, you know, that came up like I did under the same kind of people coaching uh, that, that I came underneath. And, and you know, I, I've learned from where I've been, especially these last 10 years, you know, uh, you know, great organizations uh, don't happen without great leadership. And, you know, we have a great, 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 great university, and I know I'm thrilled to have her in, in charge of it and, and, and setting the lead for, for, uh, for Furman University. 
you know, Mike Buddy, uh, I think, Mike, I, I, I wanted to make sure I had a chance to meet you. I'd heard great things about you. We did speak briefly. I guess maybe it was last spring. Um, you know, and I know he's been here a short time as well. First class in every way. Um, and I think a couple things that were obvious to me, just professionalism and his vision for this program and this athletic department and their support uh, and wanting to see us, you know, and, and wanting you to be successful and helping you to be successful aren't always the same thing, you know. And, and I think the want is there. And, and uh, you know, I'm really looking forward. Uh, I know he's used this word a couple of times with me, but, you know, him being my partner going forward, you know, reaching out to you, reaching out to this community uh, to do the things we need to do to, to, to put this program where we want to be and where we've been. And we're not that far from that. Uh, so I know I'm excited, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, you know, a couple of, couple of people, I said a couple of people, the FFPA. You guys, uh, when I got to the Air Force Academy 10 years ago, uh, our head coach, Tori Calhoun, uh, was trying to put together an organization. He was trying to put together an FFPA was what he was. We have it now. Uh, and uh, but uh, and it's been a really really good organization there. I don't think nowhere near to the strength uh, the, the, of the group that we have here. And I know your your support, you know, monetarily, um, you know, attendance, just everything you do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't care what university anywhere. I don't know if there'll be a, a stronger group anywhere of past players, coaches, supporters. Uh, and I look forward to. Look forward to that, having a chance to spend more time with you as well. Um, you know, and I've got some individual people here as I go down. I'd just like to thank, and, uh, you know, other, otherwise this day would not have been possible. You know, might not have been possible. It would not have been possible. Um, you know, and, and uh, when I got to the academy, many of you are familiar with Fisher DeBerry. Fisher's a legendary Air Force coach. He's a South Carolina native. Uh, and it didn't take me long to learn, you know, Fisher was one of those guys, and I've got a great relationship with him now. Uh, in fact, he called me the other day um, that uh, had a few sayings that he was kind of known for, and, and one of those was the old story of, you know, walking down the road and you find the turtle sitting on the fence post. And, you know, and it was obvious that he didn't get there by himself. Somebody helped him get there. And... I wasn't around him a lot when I got to the academy, but I, I used to hear that story all the time, and, and I'm, I'm the perfect example of that. There are a lot of people that have done a lot to, to help us, you know, to make this day even possible for us. You know, first of all, my wife, Leanne, uh, you know, it's pretty nice when you can be married to your best friend, and uh, she's a 90 grad, uh, first-class lady. I, I don't know if, if – there, I think there's a special place in heaven for coaches' wives. Um, <laughs> Just for the amount of time uh, that we're away, uh, probably even more so the last 10 years. Uh, uh, you know, we laughed. I, I went 2,000 miles just to get to my first school in recruiting. You know, and so you can only imagine the amount of time we've been apart. And we've got two great, great young men. I wish they could be here today. Uh, in fact, we may, uh, Max probably in one of his finals right now. So. And Cal's in charge of that, so I'm not sure whether that's a good or bad. I don't know if we're going to pray for Cal or pray for Mac, but uh, but they they're back in Colorado today, and uh, just been two two great young men, and I know we're excited to get back this way as well. Um, my mom and dad, Darren, Linda Hendricks, you know, whether it was Tacoma, Washington, or it was you know you name it, Commerce, Georgia, we were going up. They've always been there, uh, uh, you know, and I watched them. Uh, the work ethic, I think they instilled in me, uh, watching them provide and do the things for us, and you know the opportunity to have them here is even, even that much, you know, much more rewarding for me to be able to share this with them. Um, you know, Carrie and Betty Hatchpeth, Leanne's parents, who live here right here in town. Uh, I don't think Miss Betty is excited. Uh, <laughs> probably not for much for me to come back as as Leanne, but uh, we're thrilled to have them here and. And, uh, you know, just what a blessing it's been to, to have two sets of unbelievable parents and, and to have them here today. So it even makes it that much more special. Um, 
You know, there's some people I want to thank. You know, I start thinking about people probably other than these four that have had the most um, influence on me. Obviously, have been coaches. You know, and there are a lot. Of, I look at a lot of you in this room, and I know you'd say the same thing. You know, going back, got him Ray Lamb. Uh, that 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 I had. You know, we had a. You know, it was a lot like a father figure to me as as a coach. And uh, you know, I was one of those guys in early age wanted to be a coach. Uh, decided that, so I didn't. Ha I didn't have a lot of struggles trying to trying to find my way, figure out what I wanted to do in life. Uh, I know he had a lot to do with that. And then, and then a guy that's sitting over here, Steve Savage, uh, Coach Savage is from my hometown. His first year coaching was my first year in high school, and uh, so we have remained great, great friends all these years. Uh, I tell you one of the special things for me back uh, early October. He was out in Colorado Springs for the Air Force Navy game, and got a chance to to spend some time with him, and and we uh, had a, had a good win, which made it even that much better. Uh, but just thank you for being here. Um, you know, Robbie Caldwell. I, I won't have to go into. It. You guys know I had a chance to to play for, be a graduate assistant for. Now he's over at Clemson, and and you know when I say that now, I know a lot of people in this room know who I'm talking about, and. But I, I couldn't I couldn't stand here today and not thank him for what he's meant to me. Um, and then and then I go down just a short list here. Dick Sheridan, you know, I, I've had a chance, and you guys know this too. You know, when your phone rings and you look and it's Dick Sheridan, I still get nervous. You know, and <laughs> I, I got to answer it the right way. You know, and 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 I've had a chance the last couple of years to you know he's really reached out to me and and. Uh, you know he he you know he and Coach Baker, who was actually a little bit before me, were kind of the the blueprint of the of the true success that that was here. And and you know I don't need to say much more than than that about him and 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 how much he's meant to me. And um, you know Coach Satterfield, where are you? I know you're here, Jimmy Satterfield. Uh, you know Coach Satterfield, in my opinion, was a little bit ahead of his time offensively you know was the offense coordinator when I was a player here uh, I graduated and and I probably thank you most for this I was 24 years old I was a graduate assistant at North Carolina State for coach Sheridan and coach Caldwell and he gave me an opportunity to come back and uh, which I don't think ever happens now but I was 24 and and said you're the offensive line coach those are your guys and and uh, and he and I used to say this we thought a lot alike you know in lots of ways, you know, and and uh, but I just the opportunity gave me, you know, the, the otherwise would never have had. And coach, I appreciate that. Called me the other day, and uh, I'm looking forward to having a chance to reconnect with him a little bit, with him living in this area. Uh, Bobby Johnson called me yesterday and could be here. Uh, and same with I, so many of you guys know who I'm talking about. The, the tough, disciplined. One of the smartest guys I've ever been around. Um, you know, just another great influence that, that gave me some unique experiences in coaching and responsibilities, and certainly thankful for that. Bobby Lamb, lifelong friend. Uh, you think about it, and uh, we'll be competing, but we've known each other since we were seven years old, you know, and, and so, and I'll try to beat his rear end just as bad as I can. <laughs> and I would expect the same from him, but. But, uh, you know, we were together for so long. Uh, he, uh, but I, I, I just, again, would like to thank him for some opportunities, you know, he gave me while we were, while we were here. Um, and, then, and then lastly, and, uh, Troy and Amanda Calhoun. Um, I, I had a former Furman coach administrator ask me a couple of years about my head coach, the guy that I've been working for the last 10 years. And I said, you know, coach, Probably the best way to describe him would be that he was a pretty good combination of Coach Sheridan, Coach Johnson, Coach Satterfield, and, and he kind of it kind of wowed him when I said that. I said, "Well, that'd be the best way for me to describe him." But both Troy and Amanda been awful gracious to us. Uh, you, I mean, you talk about stepping out of your comfort zone. Ten years ago, uh, I got a phone call and she looked at me kind of funny, and I said, "We're not moving to Colorado," you know, and. Two weeks later, I was there, and 
but it's been a great 10 years, uh, and he's been most gracious during this entire process, and, uh, I, you know, I just think about the ways I've grown. Somebody, uh, I, I know this, I'm a much better football coach. I'm a much better prepared for this job because of that experience than, than ever before. Uh, and uh, I have no doubt about that, and that's one of the things that gives me confidence uh, going forward. Um, just like to say is, you know, really to be given the honor of taking over as the leader of this program is an honor, okay? This is my school, you know, and I had a reporter from the Colorado Springs call me last night, and we were in a layover, and, and you know, Colorado, they don't know as much about Furman. Now, this guy had a pretty good relationship. I just said, hey, you know what, that's my school, you know, and, we're excited about the chance to, to just see how good we can become. Um, but, but it is my school, um, and I do embrace the challenge. Okay? I will say this. I spent the last 10 years at one of the world's great leadership institutions. You know, and, you know, that's kind of a wowing factor sometimes when you hear that. Um, I would like to think that some of that's rubbed off on me, uh, just the, the kids I've been around, the people I've had a chance to to associate with, uh, but that, uh, you know, that that experience, I think no doubt, uh, will will prove to be a, a great experience for me going forward. Uh, you know, truly, when you when, when you start talking about being the leader of a program, and uh, so I, I know I'll lend heavy on those experiences. You know, I, I, there are a couple things that are important to me. My face important to me. My family's important to me. I love coaching football, and I love to win. And if I didn't think I could do all four here, I wouldn't be standing here today, you know. And I think I can do all those things here, and that's what excites me. And, uh, you know, and, and I don't think uh, we have to sacrifice any of those things to get the things done that we want to get done. Um, you know, I, I think the other thing, I, I know at the end of the day, uh, as in the profession I'm in, you're judging on wins and losses, and I'm, I'm, I'm all about that. Uh, but I think I've also learned, I'd also like to be judged, you know, 10, 15 years from now, you know, those guys that I have contact with on a daily basis, you know, what are they doing, you know, and how are they bettering society? Um, and I think, again, I think you can do both. It's been done here before. I talked about those FFPA members. That, I mean, they're a great example of, of the investment that was made in them on the front end um, and, and how it's reaping rewards now. Um, you know, a little bit about our program just going forward, you know, so we're kind of all on the same page uh, and, and a little bit of my beliefs and my philosophy. Um, and, you know, and I start with this, I start with a little bit of recruiting just because this is where we are. This is an unusual timing. Uh, the dead period started today. Uh, I got the job Saturday afternoon, uh, so uh, one of the guys today said, you know, Coach, we, we can't get in their homes. I said, yeah, but nobody else can either, you know, so, uh, so it's a matter of, of uh, you know, my hat's off to the, the, the staff that's been here uh, kind of holding this thing together uh, throughout the recruiting process. I'm excited to see where we can go in this next month or so, you know, as we add staff, as, as we go forward. Uh, I think certainly my ties, uh, really actually even nationwide, uh, will give us a chance to get in the homes of some kids and, and, and have a chance to have a great class. And I think they have a good class started, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting going with that. Um, you know, really right now it's recruiting, it's assembling a, a staff. Um, I think uh, in the evaluation process of recruits, uh, things will remain – Things will remain important to us that always have been important. Um, we want young men with character, and that will never be sacrificed. Okay? We want men with character that can graduate from Furman University. You know? We want kids that love football and, and kids that have enough talent that, that help us, can help us win championships. You know? I learned a long time ago I'm a lot better coach when I have good players. Um, <laughs> You know, and, and so that is ultimately our goal. Uh, but they're also good players that have all those other attributes that we look forward um, as we recruit. One of the things I, I've known this, and, you know, this may get played over again. We have the best school. We have the best campus. 
this is the best town of really anybody I think we're competing against. And, and I think those are things we got to sell, you know, an unbelievable degree. And many of you are proven factors of what a Furman degree will do for you. Uh, you know, I've, I know I've been selling, I've been selling a pretty good product uh, for a number of years, but I also learned I'm recruiting the same kid I was recruiting when I was here 10 years ago. And we were successful both times. So, um, you know, as, as we get into a staff, um, kind of the, you hear some of these same things, but, you know, hiring men with great character who are all really good teachers, mentors, and motivators. Um, because I think that's, that's certainly important in what we do today. They, they will certainly know, they'll know their job, and they'll be good at their craft. Um, they've got to be able to recruit and identify people that can be successful, or young men that could be successful at Furman. Uh, and I learned a long time ago, uh, both here and at the academy, you know, recruit the right kid. You know, recruit the right kid that fits what you are, fits what your goals are, what your ideals are, and that's, both athletically and and uh, and and off the field, uh, Coach Sheridan told me a long time ago. Um, you know, recruiting is a choice. He said, "You choose to take that guy." He said, "And so you better like him just as much on Tuesday as you do on Saturday." You know, and so I've kind of tried to keep those thoughts in mind. You know, and, and over over a long, long period of time. All right, and, and I think probably one of the main reasons we're talking here today is football. You know, where do I share a football program? Um, you know, when I got to the academy, and I've used it, I've told, I know Mike and Coach Pettis this during this time, when I got to the academy 10 years ago, you know, you all hear about the, the attributes that define service academies. You know, you hear things like class, discipline, toughness, sacrifice, teamwork, and service. Well, it didn't take me very long to, f to realize those are the things this program was built on. You know, and, and all you guys are sitting there, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know, there was those same principles. So really that transition for me was pretty, was pretty, uh, was pretty easy. Uh, and I think we want to, we want to in turn continue. As, and, and I think a lot of those same qualities are here. That's not a concern I have, but it's building on those qualities um, and then moving forward. Um, you know, our goal is simple, play and compete to win championships. I mean, it, that, is, that is plain and simple. It's pretty easy to measure, um, and uh, so that is our goal. You know, we will be a tough, disciplined squad that plays smart with effort and enthusiasm. You know, defensively. We'll be an aggressive attacking group that will pride itself on stopping the run, playing with identity, and, and we'll have a true focus on trying to create turnovers. You know, and I know that that's pretty broad, but that's, that's who we are, and that's what we're about, and that's what we've been about, you know, many years before. Offensively, which, how many offensive questions do you think I've gotten in the last, <laughs> last two weeks? Uh, <laughs> I'll say this, we'll build multiple attack, okay, there's a silent sound, smart group, okay, we won't beat ourselves, and we will preach ball security, take care of the ball. Our goal will be difficult to prepare for, and not much fun to play against, you know. We will play with tempo, and we will be a fun and exciting group to watch. And, and you know, at the end of the day, uh, and I know me personally, my track record is what it is. I can tell you what it is. You know, you can watch, you can go, you can see, uh, but that's who we'll be. Uh, we will be committed to running the football. I know that's important to a lot of people around here, and it has been to me too. Okay. <laughs> but we'll also be very good at throwing it. You know, I, I think there's a couple things that come in there. Certainly in our – I want to be able to recruit receivers and running backs and, and those kinds of things and those kinds of players. And uh, so that's something we'll, 
will take pride in doing. I also like to help develop our defense. And when you can't do those things, then your defense suffers because the ability to you prepare them by, by having the ability to make them stop the run and, and, then, and then truly help them develop, you know, from, a, from a defending the pass. You know, I, I think the biggest thing I'm excited right now uh, is uh, having a chance to get with our players. Again, the timing, you know, they were all gone when I got here. So I, I think uh, maybe the fifth, I'm not sure what the day is they'll come back. So, you know, usually you'd like to roll in there and meet your guys. I know a lot of them. I recruit a lot of them. I wanted a lot of them. Uh, uh, I might have got a few they wanted too. But, uh, but uh, we're excited about getting with them, getting an off-season program going, uh, and, and, and then seeing where we can, we can develop throughout the, throughout the process. Um, I would like to say this too, you know, and I know, Mike, this has been an important you know, this was an important thing to him as, as we went through this process. But one of the most exciting parts of the, this sound to me is opti uh, the opportunity to come engaged in this community. Uh, wow, how Greenville has changed. You know, we've been back once a year, maybe twice, sometimes maybe not once a year over the last year. But how it's changed. Uh, just a great, great town. You know, I want Greenville to embrace this university and this athletic department. There's plenty of... There's plenty of that to go around, um, but I think we also have to do our fair share. And I know I have to do my fair share uh, of reaching out. And again, I'm ready. I, I told him, I said, hey, let's, let's go. Tell me where we're going. Um, but uh, I, I'm ready to do what I can to enhance those relationships. One of the goals of our football team, I think, going forward is to become a service-oriented organization. Okay. Um, I know also I, I go back on some of my experiences uh, in the last few years, but uh, and especially at my time at the academy, that um, you know, service. Far too many uh, think that service is somebody else's responsibility, and and you know, that, that I think that's something I'd like to see our football team. I think they probably have to some extent, uh, and again, just another way to to reach out to this community, uh, embrace them, and I think I think the. You know, it, it, it will come back to us if, if we'll do those things. Um, you know, I, I personally and from afar have taken uh, a lot of pride in watching the fellow teams here at, uh, at Furman do exceptionally well. Uh, I think I'm a team guy. I'm for them, and I hope they're for us. I had a chance when I was here last week to, to have lunch with a few coaches uh, but but uh, I just want them to know I'm, I'm here for them. I look forward to working with them and supporting them as we all strive for the same goals. I'm excited about the opportunity to engage the student body uh, as well as our faculty and staff, uh, many of which I think I still have some connections with. Uh, you know, and, and truly what I'd like to I, – I, I, I would like for Paladin Stadium to become an exciting destination on Saturday afternoons. And it, can, it was, it has been, and it can be. Um, and I know, I know what my responsibility is as far as putting a good product out there, and that is our goal. But that is, our, that is, our, uh, that is, that is a huge goal for our program. Uh, and then lastly, I just look forward to reconnecting with, with many of you, alumni, fan supporters, um, your passion for this program, you know, and, and winning football and fun football. And, and I, it, it's obvious to me, and it is to me, you know. Uh, it, it, I know how you feel, um, and especially the last few days, that's become obvious to me. Um, I think we have the same goals in mind. I'm certain we can get there. You know, if we work together, we need your help, and I'll be asking for it. Uh, you know, I know I saw Dwight out here, and I, I tried to remember the 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 uh, season ticket website. I can't remember what it is right there. I would repeat it again. Uh, but we need to get people to Paladin Stadium. We're going to put a great product on the field. We're going to run the football, uh, you know, and, and we're going to be competing for championships. Uh, and, 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 again, I've been a part of it. I know what it takes to do it. Uh, I know where we are. Uh, I know the Southern Conference had, what, four teams in the, in the playoffs this year, and there's absolutely no reason why we're not one of them. Uh, 
I watch uh, those games, you know, those, those top-level FCS programs, and I, I just have a hard time believing we're that far behind them. Uh, but we're going to go to work, um, and uh, it, it'll, it'll be hard work. It will be something we're looking forward to. Uh, I can just say this. The fact that you're here today, I'm honored that you'd be here today. Uh, I think the, the showing here today shows how much you, how much you all care about what we're doing. Uh, going forward, and, and again, we we can do this, but it's going it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of people getting involved. Uh, and you know, if I can if I can help you, let me know. You call me if it's you know if it's the Qantas Club or or, or uh, you know the American Legion, whatever it is, I I'll, I'll be there. Uh, I look forward to working with you. I look forward to meeting you. I hope you get a chance to hang around today for a little. Well, I'd love to speak to every single one of you. I see a lot of really familiar faces. Many of you have aged better than I have. Uh, but uh, thank you again for being here. Uh, I, I, I greatly appreciate your, your support and your outreach to my family. And, uh, and, and we, uh, we look forward for good days ahead. And uh, go Paladins. Thank you.